going on? Llama Nation. Okay, that was a goat and I don't know where that came from. Anyway, I hope you guys had a great Christmas. I'm excited to be back with you guys today with another gaming video. Today we're gonna be working with the Minecraft version on the PC, specifically the Java edition, even more specifically commands, and more specifically than that, the slash fill command. I recently found this and I thought it was pretty interesting and there's a lot of fun to be had with it, so I figured I would go ahead and show you guys some of the things that I've been experimenting with. Hopefully you'll enjoy it. So without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, so as I said before, I'm working on the PC edition of Minecraft, the Java edition version 1.15.1. As of the making of this video, this is the most recent uh, edition of Minecraft out there on the PC. And like I said before, I'm going to be working with the slash fill command, which is a command that allows you to either add or subtract blocks in any direction, any type of block that you can that you can imagine, it will allow you to do it. And it's a lot of fun to, to see what kind of capabilities it has. So I'm going to show you how this works, and we'll get go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out which direction I'm facing. It's important because every one of the slash fill commands includes coordinates. So when I mean coordinates, I mean the x-axis, which which means left and right, the y-axis, which means up and down, and the z-axis, which means forward and backward. So because it's a three-dimensional world, we have to worry about all three coordinates. And not only that, we have to include which coordinates we're going to be deleting from and which coordinates we're going to be deleting or adding to. So I'll show you what that means here in a minute. Be ready, this is kind of tricky. So the first thing you want to do is see which direction you're facing in Minecraft so you know where your coordinates are going to be. And the way I do this is I hit F3 and it brings up this whole screen of God knows what this is. But the line that makes the most sense to me is right here in the middle on the left hand side where it says I'm facing north towards negative Z. And it gives me the coordinates and, and the direction and everything like that. That's important because that, that lets me know which way I'm facing so I'll know which where which coordinate to put in blocks so that I know where to add them uh, later on. So I'm going to clear this out here and uh, basically I'm going to I'm going to get rid of all this grass. Usually whenever you create a world it's covered in grass and I just don't like the, all the grass. So I'm going to do slash fill and I'm going to type a squiggly line here and what the squiggly line means is that it's going to count a number of blocks away from where I'm standing right now. So if I do and this is the first coordinate is going to be the x. So if I do a negative 10, that means negative that means 10 blocks to my left. And then I'm going to do another squiggly. This is going to apply to the y-axis. So this is going to ask how many blocks up or down from where I'm standing do I want this command to apply to? Now keep in mind, I'm standing on the ground. That does not mean I'm at the y coordinate zero. The y coordinate zero is all the way down at bedrock. So I'm going to just do a zero here with a squiggly, which means where I'm standing right now. And then I'm going to deal with the Z axis, which again is the forward and backward, and I'm gonna do a negative 10. So what this means is that this is going to apply to everything from left 10 of me, back 10 of me, and on the level that I am right now. So the next coordinate is going to be the X coordinate the other side of the x coordinate that you want this to apply to. So instead of negative 10, I'm going to type 10. That means that this is going to apply to 10 blocks to my left all the way to 10 blocks to my right. And then the next coordinate is going to be the y coordinate that we want this to apply to. I'm going to do I'm going to do 1 here, which means that it's going to be one block up from where I'm currently standing. And then the last one's going to be the Z, which I'm going to do another 10 to. So what I'm showing you right here means that this, what we tell it to apply to is going to be 10 blocks to the left of me at the very level that I'm working on up and down and 10 blocks behind me. And it's going to go all the way to 10 blocks to the right of me, one block up from where I'm standing and 10 blocks ahead of me. So that will create a 10 or a 20 by 20 square around me of whatever I tell it to do next. So as you can see, it pre-populates all of these uh, options and you can see I've got planks, logs, you name it. It's all in alphabetical order. So all the acacia stuff comes up first, but I'm going to type in air and it, it pre-populates with Minecraft colon air. And what that's going to do is it's going to put air in these coordinates that I tell it to. So when I click enter, it's going to clear out all this grass and, and maybe even some of the grass blocks. Okay, so did you see that right there? It even took away some of the hill, and you can see that's at a right angle, so it took away all of that. So, and, so you can walk around, 
and open up your command thing, hit up, it'll pre-populate everything that you just typed, boom, and you're just annihilating the entire landscape. Now you can see here too, it's taking away part of the hill. It's replacing everything with air, which is pretty cool. If you wanna be like me and just clear out a whole bunch of land, make it flat, and uh, of course you're in creative mode, so you're gonna be kinda cheating but uh, this is a pretty helpful way to just go ahead and in mass get rid of everything in your way. Now, of course, we only told it to go up one block from us, so it's not going all the way up the hill. Let me show you how to do that. So I'm gonna pull up my command from before, and you remember, this was the y-axis, the up and down. It starts, it's clearing everything at where I'm standing and only going up one block. So if we want it to go up higher, we're gonna increase this number here. I'm gonna increase it to five and hit enter and it should get rid of all of that stuff over there in the top. So now we've got a pretty big a pretty big square that we've cut out just by using command blocks. And of course, it's, uh, it's pretty easy. So, and that is pretty cool. So, and I can see it's gonna be nighttime. I don't want it to be nighttime. So if you're not already familiar, you can do time set day and boom, there goes your there goes your daytime. So that's just one way to clear out all the land and or grass or anything that's in your way if you want to just create a, a fun world. If you really wanted to go for it, you could clear out that mountain back there or maybe even this little hill. It would take a little bit of time, but it's definitely a whole lot more doable using the slash fill command than it would be just going up and cutting it out block by block. So obviously up until now, I've been using the slash fill command to replace blocks with blocks of air, which is kind of like removing blocks, but technically not removing blocks. I've just, like I said, been replacing them with air, but you can use the slash fill command, obviously, to use different types of blocks. So I'm gonna create a little bit of uh, dirt right here in front of me. So the way to do that is I'm going to, I'm gonna put it away from me so that I don't encapsulate myself in dirt, which would be a little bit silly. So I'm gonna go five away from me. I'm gonna go at my level. I'm gonna go five more, and then I'm going to, I'm gonna do six. I'm gonna to go to the same level, so zero to zero, and then I'm gonna do another six there, and I'm gonna do dirt. And what it does is it's gonna create a little block here that was not there before, and I just created it with dirt. Now, if I wanted to do it again, I would just, whoop, see that? How I just added that little block of dirt there, and if I walked over here and did it, it adds another little two by two block of dirt. So as long as you know your coordinates and you're kind of smart with where you put things and everything, you can add dirt as well. So another thing you can do is instead of using dirt, you can use something a little bit more interesting. So if I were to use the same command and replace dirt with gold block and hit enter, then it will create a gold block where I tell it to in relation to where I was standing. And of course, in this case, it's floating. But uh, so yeah, you can create gold blocks and everything as well too. And uh, you're not really just relegated to only using things like gold blocks and like dirt. Like I'm gonna show you this tree here. This is kind of fun. If you have a whole forest and you wanna start a big fire, you can also use the slash fill command. So like in this case, I'm gonna do again a negative 10. I'm gonna go from where I'm standing and do another negative 10. So every, every block 10 to the left and 10 behind me for, at the level I'm at, going to 10 to my right. I'm gonna go up 15 blocks from where I'm standing and I'm gonna do 10 and I'm gonna do Minecraft fire replace. And since this is an oak tree, I'm going to select oak leaves. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna set all those oak leaves on fire. And of course they, they were gone in an instant, but now it starts the fire. Now, if you had a whole forest, then there would be a bunch of trees all on fire around you and the fire would pretty much spread around. So other things you can do with the slash fill command is you can add the, the fill command to command blocks in creative mode, which is something that I've always enjoyed doing. I've actually pre-prepared a couple of command blocks right here, and there's a uh, station up in here with levers that will activate the redstone and trigger the command block. I'll show you how this works. When I right click on the command block, you can see my slash fill command. And what it's going to do is it's going to go one block to the north at this level, and it's going to create a 10 by 10 block of air going down to level two. You see how that number two doesn't have a squiggly there. That means it's going down all the way to bedrock. So it's gonna create basically a giant square hole as soon as I go back and throw the lever. So 
Let's go ahead and see what this ends up looking like. This should be a lot of fun because uh, one of the things I've always that's always interested me about Minecraft is being able to see all of everything that's going on underground. It's always been very interesting to me to be able to see all the layers and everything like that. So this command block will easily allow you to create a gigantic hole in one button click. We're going to click that button and you can see the hole appear and we're going to go walk down there to the edge and see what it's all about. I've done this before in practicing for this video and it's always really interesting to see what goes on all the way down there. So boom, just like that, you can see all the layers of dirt, all the different ores and things like that. And uh, so yeah, big gigantic hole. And of course I just added that to a command block. One of the fun things to do is to actually just stand somewhere and put this command in there too. So like negative 10 to my left from where I'm standing. And again, a negative 10. So behind me, a 10. We're gonna go all the way down to level two and a 10 and we're gonna replace, we're gonna do air. So when I click enter, it's gonna create a hole all the way around me and I'm gonna fall. Whoa. So boom, and sometimes it's funny, yeah, you'll see lava coming out and you can see some of the remnants of cave systems and things like that that, you know, otherwise you'd have to kind of explore. Another thing that I did a little while ago was I was re trying to find out what it would look like if I were to dry up a river. And of course, to do that, it would be extremely difficult in normal Minecraft, but using the fill replace kind of thing then it's really not that hard. So I'm gonna go from negative 10, zero, negative 10, and to 10. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna make this apply to everything that's like six blocks, nah, 10 blocks below me, and 10 blocks to my right, and I'm gonna replace it. I'm gonna replace the water with something that doesn't naturally occur in this area. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create, I'm gonna change it with gold blocks. And then when I use the same formula, I'm gonna replace I'm gonna place air and I'm gonna replace gold blocks. And when I do that, it's gonna replace all the gold blocks with air and then suddenly I've got the river trying to come back into me. So, and it took away a lot of the dirt and everything like that. So now you've got this kind of nonsense river going on with all the water falling into nothing and not ever filling up the hole. Always fun to do to see just what will happen with this. Um, other fun things that I've been able to do is that, you know, slash fill, maybe negative five, zero, negative five, to five, zero, five, and then I'm gonna place water here. And then what you end up with is kind of just this column of water standing there falling into nothing. And, you know, of course, Minecraft, the physics aren't always exactly right or anything like that, but it is always funny. And you can actually build a water pyramid using this if you go into the middle and, you know, select a, a row up and then make it smaller and smaller and smaller. We're going to go back over to over to our mechanisms here. And of course, we've got our hole that we created. I'm going to make it daytime just so we can see what we're doing. And uh, I put another command in this other block here. And what this is going to do is it's going to create a gigantic block of gold, kind of like we've, what we've done before. And it's going to it's going to make it really big right next to where everything is. So we're going to go over here and we're going to activate this. We're going to activate this lever and we're going to see it create instantly a giant gold block like none other. So always fun to do. Um, now, of course, if you want to do a lot of destruction, you don't have to use gold blocks. You can change this to say TNT. And so I'm going to actually change this to say TNT. And then I'm going to go back here. And when I throw this lever again, it's going to create a giant block of TNT. And chances are, because it goes all the way down to bedrock, some lava underneath is going to detonate that TNT and do, yep, there it goes. And we're gonna see the, the capabilities of my video card here. I'm thinking I should fly above this. <laughs> oh, 
one hour later. Okay, so I didn't build the, I didn't make the TNT go all the way down to bedrock, but as you can see, you can make it to go all the way down to bedrock, bedrock if you want, and uh, it will do a lot of damage, and it would take a long time, and you'd be left with this amazing hole that you can see everything all the way down to bedrock with. So, you know, always lots of fun, and it even blew up my little observation station a little bit, apparently. So, you know, it's, uh, you can do all kinds of construction and destruction using the slash fill command. Well guys, as always, I hope you found my video entertaining and informative. I really enjoy finding new ways to enjoy Minecraft and sharing those kinds of ideas with you. If you have any other ideas for things that you might want me to try to kind of bend the rules of Minecraft a little bit or to tinker around with commands, please let me know in the comments. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you're subscribed, thank you. If you haven't, why not? Please go ahead and subscribe. As always, again, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it and 